let's now uh, add in the option to do a double door here as, as well. So um, I'm going to go into the parameter interface for our controls in our in our overrides over here. I'm going to put in a um, let's just do an integer slider and we'll just clamp it between uh, zero and one for right now. So zero and one like so. And this will be our um, cab double door toggle and we'll say door count I guess for now seems all right uh, and I'm going to leave it on zero for the default all right so we'll hit apply and accept that looks pretty good so now we need to pass that information down so we need to go and get that value here all right so we're going to do int um, door count is equal to chi door count. There we go. And then let's just copy the set prim attribute. Like so. And then we want to take this, we'll call this, well, now we can't use D count, so we'll have to do door count. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then we'll just copy this guy over. There we go. Oh, we need the comma there. There we go. All right, so now we've got a uh, door count attribute that we can set. Very cool. So it'll just be zero or one, and they're all going to default to zero, which is perfect. And then let's uh, promote that. So let's just copy this guy, plug this in, and we'll call this. So it needs to convert our door count from primitive to detail, which is perfect. Yep, door count. Beautiful. All right, so now we can use that inside of our graph. So there's a couple things I want to do here. So I want to share the knob and the hinge here. And also the, I think the transforms, we're going to share these guys between these two options. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, let's do this here. So that's pretty much our setup right there for a single door. So I'm just going to select all those nodes like so, and we'll call this a uh, single door. And then I'm going to duplicate this over like that. I'll call this a uh, double door. And then let's set up our switch. That is going to be controlled by our override parameter that we set up previously here. Okay. We'll call this a uh, door switch. All right, so now um, we can get that value, so our door count detail attribute from this incoming primitive. All right, so all we need to do is go to our door switch node there, and we'll do a detail, and we're going to get it from our prim in, and we want door count and zero. There we go. So that'll allow us now to switch uh, between the two. So if I'm on doors here. So now I can switch between the two. It's going to be one of these guys here. It's probably the last one. Oh, I might not have, have it even selected. So uh, we'll test it out here in a sec. The other thing I forgot to do is to make sure that this is turned off when it's not doors. <clears throat> so when the, the type is not set to doors. All right. So we can just go to the uh, drawer count and switch this to when this is not equal to one, I believe. Yeah, because doors are one, basically. So now it will be hidden unless you're a door, right? So yeah, that's perfect. All right, very cool. All right, so let's work on our double door now. Now we got our switch all set up. And I'm going to hit uh, shift Z or sorry, shift S on the keyboard. And let's just organize this a bit here. Yeah. All right. So what are we going to do here? So this basically is, well, actually let's first take care of splitting the, the primitive, the incoming primitive. So let's do a null here and we'll call this a prim in. There we go. Oh, and let's unpin our view here. There we go. All right, so let's do our convert to NURBS trick here so we can split it in half. 
So I'm just going to convert this to a nerve surface, interpolate through holes. So we have the quad. Then let's use a carve node. And let's find the... There we go. Oh, and this one's already set up perfect. Awesome. So let's do 0.5 and uh, let's keep both. All right, then let's convert these back to polygons. So polygon, but let's interpolate through holes. There we go. So now we have two prims, one and zero. So the way that we've got the door currently set up, which is what this graph is representing currently, so all these nodes, is for this particular door. Uh, so we can split. So let's do this. We're going to split on primitive one, like so. And then I'm going to bundle all these guys up into a subnet. And I'm going to call this the... Oh, did I miss one? Yeah, I missed one. Actually, let's just do it again. Oh, I see. I didn't want to select that. There we go. Let's just pull this up, up and over here. All right, so let's bundle all that stuff up into a subnet. There we go. And our prim coming in now is going to be this guy. So that should work. Yeah, it works fine. So now we've got this door here. So we'll call this the L door. And then let's duplicate this. And rather than this guy, we're going to take the other door. So if we were to merge these together now, right? We have doors that are facing the same direction. So on this uh, this door over here, this is going to be the uh, R door. We just need to fix up a few things. So Shift S to clean up your node network there. Organize these guys up. So it's it's nice to basically use those subnets for the knob and the hinge, because if you're to constantly copy and paste them, then you're you're basically going to take a perf hit in your HDA inside of Houdini Engine because it's going to have to you know build that node. Uh, and so this way we're just reusing it over and over again. So that's what that is awesome. Uh, so yeah. Um, all right. So let's take care of the hinges first. So this one's easy because rather than blasting away um, one, we'll just do a uh, delete non-selected and this will give us that guy. So then our hinges will show up on that one side. Uh, and for the knob point, rather than the box max, we need to get the box min this time. So let's do this box min and the offset is fine, but we want to do box min and we actually need to add value because our minimum is negative or it probably is negative in this case, but we want to add onto it basically. So, and that does that. So now it's on the other side, All right? So nothing too crazy. Yeah. So now we have double doors. Boom. And we didn't have to do a bunch of stuff. So always look for ways to reuse your work. So there we go. So now we've got the option to have double doors or uh, single doors. So let's take a look at this now. Everything should be hooked up. So my doors, um, let's see, let's change this one. No. So we're not getting that particular value. So this is on primitive two. Oh, one thing that I did do, I didn't show this. Um, I actually sorted these guys um, by X. That way the starting primitive will always be on this left side of the cabinet, right? I noticed that as I was playing around with it, the numbers were uh, shifting around, uh, which would screw up your uh, previous overrides. So I just put a sort up there. So this is primitive two. So I want to check out primitive two here now and take a look at the value so primitive two we have door count of one door count of one so let's see where we are not getting the value oh i never actually set it up that would help <laughs> all right so um yeah we want the cab door count there we go oh interesting look at that so we need to do a sort Y, looks like, on one of the add nodes there. All right, so let's take a look at that now. So we're going to go on our build doors. And so this time, this guy's coming in here. So we need to dive in here. So shift S, clean this up a little bit. 
Oh, I'm already doing a sort Y there, or sort X, sorry. So let's take a look. Oh, it's actually coming from this guy up here. So we need to make sure we sort it appropriately this way. So let's do a sort and I'm going to sort this by Y. Does that help? Nope. Let's do by Y there. So basically we're just not using the right one here. So I'm going to do this in a different way. Uh, let's actually just use a clip. Um, we don't need to sort this then. The clip is nice uh, and generic. So um, we just need to make sure that we center the clip node up. So in this case, I need to use the uh, centroid uh, function here. So zero and D underscore X. Now let's copy that guy. We'll do DY and uh, DZ. And we just need to put it on the uh, X direction. There we go. And make sure you say all primitives. There we go. So now we don't need any of that. And we can just, um, yeah, looks like it worked. It's working better. So let's just copy this node now. And actually, that should work. Yeah, we don't actually need to do anything else. And let's take a look here. Oh, let's turn off our single pass. Aha. So now we need to sort the primitives such that it's sorted by X, right? So let's uh, turn this on. Let me explain this a little bit better. So this one's working. Uh, and that's just because inside of our doors, our double doors uh, specifically here, um, if we look at our clip here and we look at the prim numbers, we have zero one for that. So, let's actually make sure that we do sort the primitives here by X. Yeah, so it's always that and then, so we're going to split by zero then. So that's always going to be the proper direction then. Nope, that one didn't like it. So that's zero, one, two. Let's try and see what's going on. Alrighty. Let's jump into the doors. All right, so we sorted. We should have zero, one. Why didn't you sort by X? Oh, geez. There we go. My bad, sorry about that. I want to do it on the primitives, not the points. And uh, let's turn off our single pass. There we go. All back to normal. So now we can switch these guys on and off, maybe? No? Let's go take a look at that. Let's actually take a look and make sure that we are getting our attributes. So it looks like our door count is being set to three. That should never happen. That means we are doing something wrong. Door count looks fine. Let's make sure the incoming primitive number or primitive attribute is also named door count. Door count is three up there. So let's take a look. I might have actually pumped in the wrong value there. My apologies. Yep, I did. How cool is that? And it th I didn't call it door count. What did I call it? Cab double door toggle. All right, let's do this one more time here. Double door toggle, there we go. There we go. Again, my apologies. Yeah, so now we have the option to put in double doors or single doors. Lots of options now. Pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna leave you guys there in that video. And in the next, I think I'm gonna move on to getting some vertex color set up. And then what we gotta do is throw this into Unreal to give it a test and then we'll call it good for uh, this entire section for this procedural prop. 
And then after that, we'll do some uh, texturing. And I want to get into some more props that you put on top. So like if I were to look at the references here, there's lots of stuff up here that I want to make procedurally. Get all that stuff created. Maybe do a little uh, PDG action with some of it too. Create lots of variations. So, all right. Thanks so much.